Hello friends, this video Technometry Part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Technometry Part 1 to Part 6. Let's see domain and range of sine function. This is the typical graph of sine function if you represent. So if you see what the value was 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2 and 1. This is what I have asked to learn. This was 0 degree, this is 30 degree. This is 45 degree, this is 60 degree and this is 90 degree for sine. So if you see sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is 1 by 2, so 30 will come somewhere here, it will become 1 by 2. Sine 45 1 by root 2 is bigger than 1 by 2, it will come here. Sine 60 root 3 by 2 is bigger, sine 90 is equal to 1. This is how we plot the graph. So if we have, if we plot more values of sine, you get graph like this, exactly like this. So in this function, if you see the maximum value, the sine attends is one. This is the maximum value. To get the maximum value, we can draw a line like this, horizontal line. The place where it cuts is the maximum value. So the maximum value is one, and the minimum value, if you see, is one. minus one. This is minus one. And this is one. So the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. So that's why the range of this function is minus 1. Also, we notice that this guy repeats after 2 pi. So this is 0 pi and this is 2 pi. So this whole thing gets repeated every time. So if you see this thing, this particular node, it gets repeated every if you copy this and if you paste this here, you get the same thing. If you copy this you paste it here, you get the same thing. That means after 2 pi, this gets repeated. So it, it rises from 0 to 1, goes down again to 0, then from 0 to minus 1, again goes back to 0, and it follows the same cycle. So it repeats after 2 pi. So two things you have learned about sine function. First thing, it's domain or it's 0 to 2 pi, it repeats after every 2 pi and its its range is minus 1 to 1. The cos function, again we will write the same thing, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. So this is cos, so we will write 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and we Since this is cos, we will write like this because we knew that in cos it starts with the opposite direction. So if you see the graph, cos of 0 is 1, cos of 30 is root 3 by 2, cos 45 is equal to 1 by root 2, cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 90 is 0. This is the graph you will get if you plot this. If you plot all the values, you will get the graph like this. Also if you plot more values for, of cos, you will get graph like this. We don't know. We can find also because we know that cos of uh, add sugar to coffee, this we know. So uh, this side, if you see, if you increase the value of uh, cos, if you take any values of cos from 90 to 180, this is negative. So if you see, the value of cos from 90 to 180 is negative. If you take the value of cos from 180 to 270 is also negative. 180 to 70 is also negative. And if you take the value of cos from 270 to 360, it's positive. This is positive. Again, this comes from 0 to, uh, so this is positive. So if you see the, the graph forms like this, if you plot the values, you get the graph like this. Here also, if you see the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. So we can say that the domain of the function is minus 1 to 1. This is minus 1, this is 1. Also, we notice that this function repeats after 2 pi. If you see, this repeats after 2 pi. If you take this, this plot, and the same plot, this is again the same plot. So if you break this into 2 pi, 2 pi form, you see the value repeats after every 2 pi. So this is the two observation we got. This repeats after 2 pi, and the range of the function is minus 1 to 1. The sign also we had same thing. It repeats after 2 pi, and the range is minus 1 to 1. Now we'll take tan. So again, let's write 
जीरो वन बाय टू वन बाय रूट टू वन बाय रूट टू रूट थ्री बाई टू एन वन हेयर अगेन विल राइट जीरो वन बाय टू वन बाय रूट टू रूट थ्री बाई टू एन वन जीरो डिग्री इस थर्टी डिग्री दिस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्री दिस इज नाइन्टी डिग्री साइन बाय कॉस इज टैन दिस इज साइन दिस इज कॉस दिस इज टैन टैन बिकम जीरो बाई वन इज जीरो वन बाई टू बाई रूट थ्री वन रूट थ्री बाई टू इज वन बाई रूट थ्री वन बाई रूट टू बाई वन बाई रूट टू इज वन रूट थ्री बाई टू बाई वन बाई टू इज रूट थ्री एंड वन बाई जीरो इज अंडी फाइव सो वी हैव गॉट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ टैन इट्स प्लॉट द ग्राफ दिस द ग्राफ बी गेट सो इफ यू सी टैन जीरो इज जीरो टैन ऑफ थर्टी इज वन बाई रूट थ्री समय है टैन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव इज गल टू वन टेन ऑफ सिक्सटी इज गल टू रूट थ्री रूट थ्री इज गल टू वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू सो यू गेट समथिंग है एंड इफ यू सी टेन ऑफ नाइन्टी इज गल टू इन्फाइट द मोमेंट यू टच नाइन्टी इट बिकम्स इन्फाइट इन्फाइट सो दिस इज द ग्राफ यू गेट सिमिलरली ऑन द नेगेटिव साइड इफ यू ड्रॉ यू गेट दिस ग्राफ सो हेयर वॉट यू ऑब्जर्व दैट इट रिपीट आफ्टर पाई दिस इज इफ यू सी दिस पाई बाई टू दिस इज पाई टोटल लेंथ इज पाई दिस टोटल लेंथ इज पाई सो हेयर इट इज रिपीटिंग आफ्टर एवरी पाई इन केस ऑफ साइन एंड कॉज इट वॉज रिपीटिंग आफ्टर एवरी टू पाई इन केस ऑफ टैन इट इज रिपीटिंग आफ्टर पाई ऑल्सो द रेंज रेंज इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी सो दैट इज द रेंज सो इट्स द मैक्सिमम इज द मिनिमम इज माइनस इन्फिनिटी एंड द मैक्सिमम इज प्लस इन्फिनिटी so in the case of sin and cos the range was minus 1 to 1 and here it is minus infinity to plus infinity now let's find the do domain and range of cosec function so again if you want to write a cosec function we can again write our 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 So this was for zero degree. This is for zero thirty thirty degree. This is for forty five degree. This is for sixty degree, and this is for ninety degree. Now I'll I'll say one by because this is for sine. Say cosec. So one by zero is infinity. One by one by two is two. One by root one by root two is root two. One by root two by three is equal to two by root three. One by one is equal to one. So we have got this value of cosec. So if you see, cosec of zero is infinity, sine is infinity. Cosec of thirty is one by two. This is one by two, thirty. Cosec of forty-five is one by root two. So this is forty-five is one by root two. Cosec of sixty is two by root three, and cosec of pi is one. So this is the value. And if you see, all sine, tan, cos. So in the second quadrant also, sine is positive. So this is also possible. This is our second quadrant value, pi by two pi. Sine is positive, so cosec will also be positive because cosec is nothing but by sine. So this guy is all positive. So you plot this graph. You get a graph like this. But if you notice, and if you plot the negative part from pi to two pi, you see pi to two pi is all negative values. So you you'll get a graph like this. So if you see this graph repeats after two pi. You see the graph after two pi. From here to here is one, and then again if you draw like here, it will become something like this, or something like this. So it repeats after every two pi. That is one observation we have got. Also, the maximum value is here is in case is infinity, and the minimum value is minus infinity. So it can have any value, cos it. So what we have learned. The graph repeats after two pi, and the maximum and the minimum value is minus infinity to plus infinity. Of course, again we'll draw the same thing. Uh, write the same thing: zero, one by two, one by root two, root three by two, and one. This for zero degree cos. This for thirty degree. This for forty-five degree. This for sixty degree, and this for ninety degree. Because I am talking about cos, 
cos sec is 1 by cos so let's say sec 1 by 1 1 1 by root 3 by 2 becomes 2 by root 3 1 by 1 by root 2 is equal to root 2 1 by 1 by 2 is equal to 2 1 by 0 is equal to infinite so we have this values of sec so if we plot this sec of 0 is 1 sec of 0 is 1 sec of 30 is 2 by root 3 sec of 45 is equal to root 2 root 2 is 1 by 4 here sec of 60 is equal to 2 exactly here and sec of 90 is equal to infinite so you got this value so now if you see all sine tan cos so we know that this quadrant is positive i mean this is this is positive the next quadrant is negative and next next is also negative so if you see this is next quadrant is negative this is next quadrant pi by 2 pi and next next is also negative and then comes the positive part this is positive and that's how the graph is plotted so if you put all the values we will get graph like this and here also if you know that this repeats after 2 pi so if you take this it will go like this again it will have like this this will be like this like this so if you plot this graph this will become like this and if you see after every 2 pi it repeats you can take any 2 pi you can take this this to this is a 2 pi so it repeats after every 2 pi also the the values can go from minus infinity to plus infinity. you see the maximum value is plus infinity and the maximum minimum value is minus infinity so what we have learned here now also for cosec and sec and tan cosec sec sine and cos it repeats after 2 pi and for tan it repeats after pi now we will take cot function let's write our values again 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 we will write this in reverse order 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, this is 60 degree, this is 90 degree. Now I would write cot, cot of this is sine and this is cot, cos. And cot is cos by sine. So cot becomes 0 by 1, 0, 1 by 2 by 1 by root 2, this becomes 1 by root 3, this becomes 1 this becomes root 3 this becomes infinite so i have values of cot let me plot this graph so cot of 0 is infinite so it starts with infinite cos of 30 is 1 uh, root 3 so root 3 is somewhere here 30 degree this is 1 so pi by 4 is 1 and 60 is 1 by root 3 you will get somewhere here and 90 is 0 so you got this. Similarly, if you draw for negative, so when we have seen all sine, tan, cos, only sine is positive here. Tan is not positive, and a reverse of tan is cot. One by tan is cot, so cot is also negative. So this range cot is negative. But if you go to third quadrant, this is third quadrant. This is third quadrant. This is second. Third quadrant, if you see tan is positive, so cot is also positive, and the fourth quadrant tan is negative so cot is also negative so we have got the graph like this so once we have got the graph like this we observe that this repeats after every pi so if you see this repeats after every pi the maximum and minimum value, value is minus minus infinity plus infinity till now we have seen that sin sin cos cosec and cot cosec and sec that is opposite of sin cos these guys repeat after 2 pi and tan and cot this repeats after pi so please note sin cos cosec and sec these repeat after 2 pi and tan and cot repeats after pi thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again